Well, hello. Just kidding. It's Nicole from Keep Calm It's Life. Um, today I just want to show you how you test your essential oils for their purity. Um, when you shop for essential oils, a lot of times the bottles will say that they're pure essential oils. For instance, this one, I'll bring it closer. It's the Aracasia brand, pure essential oils. It's the chill pill. It's just a mixture of lavender with some other essential oils um, intended to relax the mind and calm the body. Um, but you, when you purchase your oils, you're assuming that because it says it's a pure essential oil that it indeed is a pure essential oil. So today I'm going to be comparing and testing um, or experimenting to see which of the oils between Aracasia and Young Living are indeed pure. And in order to do that, the way that you do it is you get pieces of paper that obviously have nothing on them, and you're going to you're going to apply a drop um, of the essential oils on their perspective piece of paper, and then you let them sit for an hour, and come back to the piece of paper. And everything, um, if it's a pure oil, everything will have evaporated, leaving nothing on the paper. If it is not a pure essential oil, then it'll leave a ring on the paper. And that's the substance that they've added to the essential oil that um, ultimately dilutes the oil. It's no longer pure and the intended um, effects or results of the essential oil or the blend um, are not as powerful or they just don't happen at all. In that case, the essential oil um, is just really not worth its value. You really want to reach for truly a pure essential oil that does not have any substances or compounds added to it so that your desired results are actually received or retained. So let's um, go ahead, begin by, um, I'm gonna take the lid off of this oil if it goes flying, and I'm going to drop a um, drop a drop of the essential oil or apply a, a drop of the essential oil on the piece of paper. And since I didn't introduce this one, this is Young Living's Clarity. It's a blend of uh, several essential oils um, that essentially um, are intended to kind of open up the mind, clear it, and help you focus and just uh, have all the, while, all the way around um, while living. So I've applied a drop, each or two actually, drops of oil on these their, uh, pieces of paper. And we'll come back in an hour and see if these oils indeed are pure. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we are back after an hour, allowing the um, essential oils that I put on the paper to evaporate and leave any substances behind if there are any. Um, as I stated before, when you drop the essential oils onto the paper, um, if it uh, evaporates and leaves no ring, then there is um, no substances in the essential oils. They're in fact making them pure. That means that the manufacturer of the um, essential oil uh, did not or didn't include any other compounds through the distillation process of making the essential oil. So let's take a look a little bit closer to see which of these oils are in fact pure. I'm gonna start uh, with the Clarity one through Young Living, I introduced that one earlier. And this is the paper that I dropped the essential oil on. We'll let that focus, sorry about that. And as you can see, there is no ring left on the paper. That tells us that this particular essential oil is in fact pure and that there is no uh, substances included in the process of um, manufacturing clarity. Now, let's take a look at the Aracasia brand. And as you can see on the paper, there is a ring in fact left on the paper. That tells us that this um, chill pill essential oil has been diluted with some sort of substance that um, unfortunately does take away from the purity of the essential oil. 
So um, that kind of just gives you an idea of which essential oil is better than the other. I'm going to expect that Clarity through Young Living is in fact going to work the way that it was designed to work, the way that they market it, the way that they uh, tell us that it's going to work. And unfortunately, the chill pill has been, um, its, its quality has been diluted down. And so we cannot expect the um, results to be what they say they're going to be. Um, so when you're buying essential oils, just make sure that you are buying from a reputable source, that you know that this particular company is making quality um, and efficient oils. Um, that way you're not disappointed in having your belief and trust that the essential oils and facts are going to work. Um, I appreciate your time and thank you. We'll be looking forward to kind of testing and reviewing some other oils in the future. So if you're in the market for essential oils, you can always hit me up um, on my socials or email. Um, you can find my blog at keepcalmitslife.org and uh, we can talk there. So thanks so much. Have a great afternoon.